this is a little weird for an intro for me, so I'm just gonna kind of stick this right up there. Okay. Um, hey, my name's Reed, AKA Carnivorous Chef. I've been testing a carnivore noodle in the background and I haven't had a whole lot of success doing it, but I came across a video of a guy making tortillas and he used gelatin in the recipe and it made me think about what textures that like bread gives off and how to even get that in this diet. And then gelatin just made sense immediately. I don't really know why I didn't think of it before because I just used it last week to stabilize with cream. So luckily I have a pile of gelatin I can use to test this with. This is not the first video of this I will make because I will make the perfect noodle out of just animal products eventually. So I'm excited to show you how to make this, which is carnivore lasagna. Expect more recipes to come that include this recipe for noodles because I can't just stop there. I've got to I've got to expand my horizons with this. So let's get started. First, we need to get our gelatin dissolved. Take one packet of powdered gelatin and two tablespoons of very hot water and stir together until dissolved. Now, let's take eight ounces of low moisture mozzarella and add it to a food processor. Pulse this a few times to get the cheese into smaller pieces. Now, we want to add three whole eggs and process on low for about one minute. I processed mine for a long time because I was worried about it being grainy, but we'll find out soon that it won't matter. Now add all of your dissolved gelatin and process on high for about 30 seconds. Alright, take a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and begin to spread out this mixture. As I found out, it won't matter how long you spread this out because there's enough cheese in it that it'll just melt out and even itself out. So just spread it out, ensuring to hit edge to edge. Place into an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. All right, while that's in the oven, we should have enough time to get everything else ready. Take seven ounces by weight of ricotta cheese, two tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a few twists of freshly cracked black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of dried basil. Mix this together and set aside in the refrigerator until we need it. We're gonna need a meat sauce for this lasagna, but we also wanna keep the inflammatory things at an absolute minimum. So take a half pound of ground beef and brown it. Now, let's add one tablespoon of our super secret ingredient that will definitely trigger some people in the comments. It's tomato paste. Then add one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and a half teaspoon of dried basil. Stir this together until things start to stick to the bottom of the pan. This is just adding flavor and caramelizing. Deglaze the pot with two cups of bone broth and then add in two scoops of collagen if you have it. We want the sauce to thicken by using reduction to make it happen, and the extra collagen will definitely help this. Let the simmer on the side and let it reduce until it coats the back of a spoon. And while we're doing that, we can take a look at our noodles. Here is the finished noodle sheet. And I have to say, I thought this would be completely browned considering how much cheese and egg is in it, but... Oh, okay. Well, flip it over and let's start to pull off the parchment paper. Well, I have to say, this was a little difficult. And be careful doing this, because you don't want this to break apart. This footage is actually two minutes of me being careful and taking it off. I think if I was more patient and let it cool completely, it will be much easier to take off, and I'll confirm this in a later video. But for now, just let it cool a little bit longer than I did, and then pull it apart. Alright, now that we've done that, let's grab our pan we'll be using and start cutting this into sheets for the size of the pan. Okay, let's put this beast together. Feel free to do it however you want, but here's what I did. I placed a little sauce on the bottom and spread it around. Next up is a noodle sheet. Top that with some of your ricotta mixture. Then some of your meat sauce. And add a little mozzarella. Rinse and repeat until everything has been used up. I topped it off with a little fresh parm and fresh cracked black pepper. 
and then I covered it in foil and cooked it 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. I removed the foil within the last five minutes of cooking and turned the oven to broil so that I could brown the cheese. All right, just like any other lasagna, we need to let this rest for at least 20 minutes. Things are a little liquidy in there and you'll just end up with a bunch of slop on your plate if you cut into it right now. I wasn't expecting this good of a cheese pull, but I'm very impressed with myself. As soon as I cut into it, I was ecstatic to see all the layers. I was worried that I was going to end up with some broken down noodles or just noodles that overabsorbed everything and just be a big red mess. But this just worked out so well and I'm happy to see it. Mm. Well, that's the video. If you enjoyed it, please throw me a like. If you're interested in seeing more of what I'm putting out in the future, please consider subscribing. Also, if you make this recipe, please send me a DM on Instagram and I'd love to repost it. Stay beefy, my friends.